Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good and in mercy endureth forever. Let me take this time to welcome each and everyone. Greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a word that I want to give you. The Lord gave me this word and I feel led to share it. I was sitting down by myself somewhere at home and the Lord gave me this word. My storage is empty. And I decided to share it and you can go on Facebook and look up this look it up as well. I will share it on Facebook. You can go on Facebook. Just type in chosen anointed and you will find out. And you, you will you will see the life. Glory to Jesus. The Lord said, My storage is empty. And how many of us can ask ourselves the question that we feel empty? That's the word God gave me for his people. There's somebody that you feel empty in your spirit. You need God to feel, refill you. It's like you are having a connection, but you're not feeling the connection that you used to feel. You used to have that zeal with God, and for some point in your life, it's like you lost that connection with God. But God is saying to you, He wants you to get close to Him because you feel empty. Do you available yourself for God to use you? In times like these, it's rough on our side because in these times of times like these, if you are not with the Lord, if you don't have the Lord with you, you cannot make it because we all need the Lord to direct us. Hallelujah. We all need the Lord to fix us. We all need the Lord to deliver us out of every situation. But the Lord is saying to us that we are empty and on the inside. But out of the, of the appearance, you show that you are filled on the other appearance. But on the inside of natural, you there is something on the inside that, that is stopping you. I'm not talking about the spirit, the, the, the spirit, the physical, but I'm talking about the spiritual. I'm talking about the spiritual being. Jesus is saying to you that you are empty and he needs you to get back the relationship with him. Glory to Jesus. Jesus is saying that you are empty. And Jesus is saying to you that without him you are nothing in this life. Without Jesus we are nothing. The, and the word is my storage is empty that is that's the topic i'm using my storage is empty and you could say jesus my storage is empty and jesus i need you to use me there is a songwriter that says use me lord and don't refuse me Glory to Jesus. If you need Jesus in your life, ask him, tell him that you want him to be a part of your life. If you are unsaved or you are a backslider, I'm inviting you to Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are backslider or unsaved, I want you to come to Jesus. I don't want somebody to share this record. I don't want you to keep it to yourself. I want when you get this, this record, I want you to share it all over the world. Share it to somebody because I believe somebody needs this word. The Lord said, my, I hear the Lord said, my story is empty. And sometimes in our life, we will want at the connection with Jesus. But for some part in our life, we lost that zeal. We lost the connection. Hakoma Shaka. We are our sire. When you get up on your knees, you need to tell God that you want him to refill you. You want him to sanctify your mind. Because sometimes our mind is dirty. Sometimes the mind is corrupt. Sometimes the Bible says it's the mind that we worship the Lord with. Glory to Jesus. The Bible says that is the mind. 
the Bible said in the book of John 4 verse hallelujah verse 13 the Bible said they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth how much do we give God our best are you empty the thing is God of everything so he is not empty we are the one that is empty we the Bible is a broken mind and a conscious spirit God will not despise because God promised that he will not leave you nor forsake you ask the Lord tell him you want him to be a part of your life for some point in your life you used to pray on your knees but you lost that connection and there is a connection that the Lord wants us to have with him when the Lord created Adam and Eve a matter of before he, before he created Eve, when he created Adam, the reason why he created Adam because he wanted to have a fellowship with Adam. He wanted to speak to man and feed the Holy Ghost. And we all need Jesus to speak to us. And the reason why man can no longer go and talk to God at the burning of the bush. There are some parts in our life where we used to speak, speak to God and he speaks back to us. But in order of our host now to see Jesus came and die on the cross, in order of our host to hear his voice, we have to go in prayer to him. We have to have the Holy Spirit. We have to have the zeal and the connection. I feel it in us spirit that somebody's empty inside i'm not talking about the physical but i'm talking about the spiritual oh god almighty god want us to get to that place we is can speak to us we he can use us for his glory because we are the equipment oh god almighty god is the one that using us when you have a machine we are the the one that used the mustard to chop the grass but God is the one that using us we are the equipment we are that machete we are that real baller Lord I must feel it oh God we are that armor oh God when, I, when you see a competent nail you kneel into a body he used the armor to nail the nail Lord God but we are that we are that armor and well, when my God, I feel it in my spirit. We need to understand that Jesus want to use us, dedicate your life to Jesus. Tell him how much you love him. How much do you love the Lord today? How much do you feel empty? Apostle Paul declared that you must examine yourself. Hallelujah. Examine yourself, my brothers and sisters, and talking to you. Examine yourself. I say, examine yourself. Examine yourself. The Bible says, not his will that any of us should perish. But that all should come to repentance if you mess up and speaking to you. Your, your story is empty. You will feel empty. How do you feel? How do you feel? Hallelujah. How do you feel? Do you feel broken? Do you feel that you want to go back to God? Do you feel that you want to have that connection with Him? The Bible said that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Bless the name of Jesus. God wants us to have the fellowship with him. Every day we wake and God spare our life to see another day. 
But God is giving us the opportunity to change our life. God is giving us the opportunity to change our speaking. God is giving us the opportunity to change our walking. God is giving us our opportunity to change our worship. All the worship that we give God, what do we give God a fake worship? We don't worship the way we should be worshiping. Oh God, I feel it. Oh God Almighty, God is saying to us, change our speaking. Lord God, change the mindset and get on one accord to God. Get on one accord. We need to get on one accord. Like the days of Pentecost, the Bible said that they were all on one accord in one place. Oh God and Mother, feel it preaching. I feel it in my spirit. Spirit. There's somebody in this afternoon. There's somebody need to understand that when you get into the presence of the Lord, you must act at the connection. You will not be broken when you're broken. Oh God, we keep broken when we broke. We keep going back to God because we need that feel. Oh God, I feel it in my spirit. I feel the anointing because sometimes. Sometimes Jesus is saying, my son, my daughter, you are him to come to me. Let me give you the water. Lord God, the Samaritan woman, the reason why she want to call her friends, her friends and family is because she need that water. Do you thirsty? Hallelujah. The woman that was sick for so many years, the woman with extra blood, when she heard that the Lord was passing by, she said, I must touch that the hem of his garment, I must touch it. And no one is going to stop me from touching the hem of his garment because I must got my deliverance. Today I'm getting my deliverance. Today I'm getting my touch. Today I'm getting my breath you to them getting my healing oh my life was too said but today I'm getting back the connection I am empty but today I'm getting it back and the devil is not going to stop me from getting my connection the devil is not going to stop me from getting my healing the devil is not going to stop me because I'm empty I am hungry I'm thirsty and I must get it from Jesus we are empty and ask the Lord to use you. Are you available yourself to Jesus? Do you available yourself in the morning? Do you available yourself in the evening? Do you available yourself in the night? Do you available so how many times do we pray a day? How many times do I see God? The Bible says, well, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto us. God is speaking to us. He said, God is saying to us, I'm giving you the chance to change your life. My God. God is saying to us, He said, I'm giving you the chance to change your life. Do you ready to change your life? God is saying to you, I am giving you the opportunity to change your life, to turn your life around, to come to me. You mess up. And God is saying, I'm giving you a chance to repent and give you the opportunity to get saved. I'm giving you a chance to escape hellfire. My God. God is saying to I'm giving you a chance to escape hell. I'm giving you a chance to change. Get the connection. You are empty. I am empty. My storage is empty. But Jesus is going to fill me. I need the Holy Spirit. 
But Jesus is going to fill me up. The Bible says that without the Holy Spirit, that we are none of His. Glory to Jesus. How do you feel? Do you feel broken? Do you feel empty? Do you feel that you want a connection? Do you feel that you want the Holy Ghost? Do you feel that you want the water baptism? Do you feel? I feel. Oh God, I'm mad. Somebody could say, Jesus, feel me. Jesus, use me and don't refuse me. It's not all about others, it's all about you. Don't look at the brother, don't look at the sister and say the brother not living the life. Don't look at the sister and say the sister not living the life. What about you? Because on that day of judgment, you cannot go and tell God the brother was not living holy. You cannot tell God the pastor was not living holy. Your sister was not living holy. That one was not living holy. Who God is going to say, what about you? It's not all about them, it's about you. Don't point your finger at anybody. Point yourself at you. What about you? Do you want to make heaven your home? What do you choose? Do you choose hell or do you choose heaven? That's what God is speaking to us today. And God is asking you the question. What do you choose my daughter? What do you choose my son? Do you choose hell or do you choose heaven? Mighty God. God is asking you this question. What do you choose? Do you choose the mother over me? Do you choose the father over me? Do you choose the husband and wife over me? Do you choose? What do you choose? Jesus said, if any man shall come after me, let him first deny himself, take up his cross, and come after me. That's what Jesus says. What do you choose? What do you choose? Jesus is saying to you, what do you choose? His name, what do you choose? Are you empty? When you're hungry, you get some food to eat. Hallelujah. When you're thirsty, you get some water to drink. I am on, I am empty, but Jesus, I need you to fill me up. My God, Holy Spirit, I need Jesus in my life. Because, because if I don't get the connection, oh, I am going to make it on this side of life. Joshua had the connection that he could say, son, stand still. My God, just got the connection so God could use it to draw the children of Israel into the promised land. My God. Oh God. My God. Ask yourself, do I have that connection oh do you feel do you feel, do you feel empty my stories is empty that's the word i'm that's the topic i'm using my storage is empty my storage is empty but somebody could lift your hands to jesus and say jesus sometimes i don't do the will that you want me to do Sometimes I don't live the life what you want me to live. Sometimes I don't speak right. Sometimes I don't walk right. But Jesus, I'm empty. And I need you to forgive my sins. I need you to wash me, Jesus. I need you to clean my mind. I need you to clean my heart. Jesus, I need you to fill me up. Jesus, I am empty. And I can't live without you. I can't go to heaven without you. Jesus, I need you. I don't want else to make my home. But I want heaven to make my home. What do you need? God is asking us, what do you want? What do you want? What do you need? Do you need Jesus? Jesus already given himself to you. 
You need to follow him now. Jesus already given himself on the cross to you. For you. For your sin. You, you and I should have been in hell today. But because of the grace and the mercy of God, we are standing on top of our grave. So many of us should have been dead, but Jesus said, No, that one is chosen. I'm going to use that one. Mighty God, it's not all about the position that you have in church. It's about the relationship that they have with God. Because that, you can't go and tell God on that day, that on judgment day, that God, I used to sing on the choir, or I used to play the music, I used to be a bishop, I used to be a pastor, I used to be a this, I used to do that, I used to do this. No. Oh, do you feel? Do you feel empty? Get the connection, brothers and sisters, get the connection. How do you feel? My God, ask yourself the question. I cannot know God for you. The Bible says, present your body to Him as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is our reasonable service. As closing, I'm closing. How do you feel? Ask yourself, how do I feel? Bless the name of Jesus. How do I feel? Do I do you feel empty? Tell God my storage is empty, but I need you in my life. God, my storage is empty, but I need you in my life. These are backsliders, come to Jesus. These are unsaved, come to Jesus. You mess up, repent it to him today. Make the Jesus your choice. Choose him. Jesus tell the man when, the, when Jesus asked the man to help you go and follow him, bury the dead. Bury my father, he said, no, let the dead bury the dead. Come on, follow me. Glory to Jesus. Somebody need to understand. My story is empty. But I need Jesus in my life. I need him every second of the day. I need him. Because I can't live without him. My storage is empty. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I hope these words help somebody. Glory to Jesus. God bless you. May Jehovah Shalom rest upon you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Shalom.